Okay, this is Tammy with Creator Critters back again, and it looks like it took about mm, 15 minutes for it to basically update the Gypsy, and now it's giving me a screen that I've never seen before. Uh, basically has, I think, my files on it. Yeah, it looks like they're in date order. So yeah, yeah, these are all the files that I had stored on my Gypsy. I've never seen it look like this before, so that's interesting. Um, I bet you the whole save file process and everything is going to be completely different. There's even a tab for my photos. Whoop, and there they all are. All my sketches and photos and stuff like that are stored there. So it looks like I can add photos or I can remove photos by using this new screen on the on the Cricut Sync software now instead of Gypsy Sync software. So, um, something new. Just thought I'd let you guys know. And uh, it's letting me know what my Gypsy memory usage is. And it looks like everything is up to date. So, I guess I am done. It still says it's connected over here. But it looks like everything is done over here. So, that is your Gypsy update. I am going to go ahead and... Hmm. Turn this off. See what this says here. Yep, and then everything's good. So once I turn that off and my gypsy is there, I'll go in here. Open it up. Let's look for one of the files. Oh, and there it is. Smiley cards. Woo! Okay, we like that. So, looks like I was successful and able, and able to update my Gypsy with the new Cricut Sync software. So, I hope everything goes smoothly for you. Um, every computer is a little bit different, so if you have any problems, um, you can always call Provocraft Support Help or just leave a comment and I'll try to do my best. There is also a lot of ladies on the message board at Cricut.com in the communities who are helping also with the updates for people who are just coming up against snags and stuff like that. But the key uh, trick to it, I think, is patience. Just be patient, okay? So um, happy updating everyone and have a great day.